So there's the uh, setup there. In order to do this, you're going to have to remove your tensioner idler bracket there. That bracket moves up and down, but it's it's blocking access to the pump. Then you have a couple of 12 millimeters you're going to be pulling off this thing. I think you can get to two from the bottom and the others from the top. And of course, you're going to want to have a drain pan underneath it because, like I said, you're going to lose coolant even if you drain the engine out really well. It's still still going to lose a considerable amount that's hidden in there. Okay, so once you get those last few bolts out of there, you have uh, opened it up. The water pump will come out through the bottom. Now, uh, as you can see, right there, there's an O-ring on there that's been removed. You'll want to replace that if you're doing the water pump. I would then recommend you take a scuff pad or a razor blade and scrape that area down. You can see I've kind of been working on it. I'll probably clean it up a little bit more. Um, you want to make sure you've gotten all the old paper gasket off of there. You don't want to have any of that stuck there. Because if you do, you won't get a good seal and you end up with a leak. And that is not what we want, right? So I'll go ahead and finish cleaning this up. And it'll be time to uh, start reassembling this. It's only been, what, about 40 minutes or so? Okay, so we've got everything cleaned up really nicely. Uh, water pump is off. The area is clean. Got all the oil cleaned off. Got my marks are pretty well done. And remember how I was telling you it's always a good idea to spin everything. You're listening for any kind of unusual noise, right? Well, I was spinning this one. Hope you can hear that. I'll try to get a little closer. That's the sound of a future failure. And this is why when you buy a timing belt kit, you should not cheap out and just get a belt, but do everything. If you can do all the idlers, the pulleys, the tensioners, the pump, anything that's in there that would have to come off in order to do it individually, you ought to do it while you have it all together. So that right there is only about uh, 40,000 miles old, but it's bad, so we're going to be replacing that today as well. That's a 14 millimeter bolt inside of that. I'll go ahead and get that swapped out, and then it'll be time to glue that water pump on, and it won't take hardly any time to get this thing back together. So here we are with our new water pump and our gasket and our O-ring. And uh, my recommendation is if you're going to have all the coolant out of the system and it's never been done, go ahead and replace that thermostat and get a new O-ring gasket for that as well. As far as this is concerned, I'm going to go ahead and take that, put it onto the pipe, put a little bit of uh, sealer around that. And this I'm going to glue on with, again, a little light, light coat of silicone sealer just to hold it in place while I put the bolts back in. Uh, copper coat is actually the preferred method of doing this, but I don't have any, so I'll just use a real light uh, coating of Permtex and hope for the best. So we've got a uh, real light coat of Permtex uh, that I put on there, silicone sealant, and uh, that is just used to uh, hold the gasket in place while I mount it back in there. As you can see, I also put a real light coat where the o-ring is going to be, and that's just to help it slide so the o-ring doesn't fold over on itself. It'll just help it slide in. And uh, it's time to start reassembling. All right, so uh, you got your water pump installed. I'm going to let that sit for a while. This belt, you just slide it over. Slide it over these teeth first. And then you slide it over that one, making sure that your marks are lined back up. If everything looks good and your slack is on this side, you should be good to go to put your tensioner in. I've got a new tensioner here. I'll slide that up behind the belt. And... Uh, Start tightening that down. Okay, and as far as tension goes, it doesn't have to be super tight. Usually, and again, I really need to have both hands to do this properly, but usually you can pretty much just take your finger and push up on it a bit and tighten it down. And that's what I'm going to do right now, and then we'll take a look at it, okay? Okay, so the tensioner I've tightened down, it's 15 foot-pounds, but tight is tight. And you can see, I, I'm not stupid tight. It's got some deflection left in it. It's just running this over here, this pump, so...
Susan.